What's going on everyone? Kyle and Brad here and if you haven't done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also head on over to patreon.com. We'll put a link in the description below. Kyle, what are we doing today? Today we're going to talk to you guys a little bit about building an arsenal and what our arsenals look like. Stay tuned. So before we get into talking about our arsenals, it's important to note that everyone's arsenal is going to be a little bit different because oftentimes your arsenal is going to reflect your style, meaning that depending on your style, you may favor one type of bowling ball as opposed to another. Maybe you need a little bit more aggressive balls in your bag, or maybe you need some weaker balls in your bag. So just note that everyone's arsenal is not going to be the same. Ironically enough, yeah, right. our arsenals are pretty similar with <laughs> Brad, uh, Storm, and Roto, me representing EBI over here. So, uh, Brad, let's kick it off with you. Um, what's, what's our first ball? I'm going to start off with the Sherlock, man. And the Sherlock is obviously the, the big one. It's, yeah. it's the big ball. It's the ball that you throw when you need that extra oomph. Um, but it's so strong in a sense that it's almost hard to throw sometimes. It's not, it's not going to be the ball you throw all the time. Right. Um, but when you are throwing it and it looks good, um, it's hard to beat. Um, so it's, it's imperative that you have it in your bag. Yeah, for me, it's the choice uh, pretty much for the same reasons. This is the ball that's going to allow you to control those fresh conditions, get that ball started up early. And yeah, you just have to have this piece yeah. in your bag. Because when you don't have it and you need it, oh, it's, yeah. you're, done. <laughs> you're done. You're done. It's the most frustrating thing in the world. Absolutely. So the next ball we got uh, is, is probably the benchmark ball, yeah, I guess definitely. the term that you would use for this. Um, for me, it's the diesel torque. Uh, this ball is what I kind of build my entire arsenal around. Uh, for me, it's I like this piece to be symmetric, a little bit of surface, and really smooth, uh, so I can throw it on a variety of different patterns. Yeah, same, man. I mean, th this is definitely my most important ball. It's my favorite ball in the bag right. uh, for a couple of reasons. For one, the shape. Uh, it's, it's, it's smooth. It's controllable. I know when I'm throwing it, I'm going to be confident with it. Um, and then also because when I'm throwing it, I know I have options around it. I have some weaker balls. I have some stronger balls. When you're throwing the Sherlock, you, you can only go down from there. But when you're throwing the face too, you know, you have some options above it. You have some options below it. So uh, for me, this is definitely the most important ball in my bag. So what's the next one here? So the next one's the Hypercell Fuse. It's, the, it's an asymmetric, but it's clean. Um, so if you're looking for that, that asymmetric shape, that, that like early and kind of forward motion down lane, um, this is the cleaner version of that, which means you can, you can throw it on drier conditions. So there's a lot of friction and this is burning up too much. This is a phenomenal complement to this shape. Yeah, for me, it's going to be the Black Widow, black and gold. And in this piece of my arsenal, I'm really going to only be able to throw this when the lanes get a little bit more blended, yeah. uh, early in the blocks, I'm really not going to be able to. I'm not going to look at this ball as a as a big option for early stages. But as soon as the lanes get some wear and tear on them, I'm going to be looking to go to this piece. Sure. Now, the next one um, is a ball that uh, it's. A, I would say it's a little condition specific. I've seen you throw that ball a lot, but I do throw this one a lot. <laughs> I don't know why. This one. This one just fits my eye, but it's going to be in my five ball arsenal. Uh, for me, it's an Eruption Pro. Uh, this is going to be a weaker symmetric ball. This is going to be a ball that uh, when there's a lot of oil on the lane, I'm probably not going to be able to throw this unless I put some surface on it, uh, but that's going to you know, that's going to kind of blur the lines with some other pieces. So I'm going to look to go this ball when there's more friction on the lanes. And when I go to that random house that mm -hmm. you know hooks a lot, I'm going to be able to use this ball a lot during those kind of conditions. Yeah, same idea. I mean, for me, for me, it's the high road. Uh, when this ball starts burning up a little bit too much because the asymmetric, when this ball starts burning up a little too much just because it's too strong of a ball, obviously too strong of a ball. When the lanes start burning up, when there's a lot of friction, when you get to the point where you're kind of toward the left gutter, maybe even lofting it over the left gutter a little bit, I'm more than likely going to have a high road in my hands uh, just because it's so clean. Right. I don't feel like I have to overthrow it. I can still continue my normal motions uh, and just entrust this ball just because of how clean it is and how the shape it gives and the amount of energy it preserves for the back part of the lane. Right. And then the last one. I mean, <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this ball because anymore it's almost like it's the most important ball in the bag. You have to have Especially as a competitive one. bowler. I don't, I mean, what happened like three years from ago where something about urethane became so important. It's and crucial. And I, I was definitely on the train three years ago saying, well, I don't need urethane. I never threw urethane. <laughs> I didn't want to throw urethane. I didn't know how to throw urethane. Uh, and then everyone was beating me with it. Right. And so, I really had no option. So why do you have to have a urethane ball in your bag? Man, because there's a lot of times where the pattern, 
where the pattern is tough. Right. And if you're going to try and battle the pattern with, with reactive bowling balls, you're going to have to jump through a lot of loopholes. You're going to have to be very sharp. You're going to have to be on your game. And there are a lot of times where you have this game plan with reactive that's going to be a very hard game plan. But there's another option. You can throw urethane more than likely to the right. Because yeah. what urethane does is it reads really early. It right. reads earlier than all these. Yeah. And it l reads less down lane. And so when you have a tricky pattern where you're really looking for control that reactive doesn't give you, urethane gives you that control. So. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, it's, it's such a big option, especially for the higher rev dominant players oh, these man. days that, you know, they're throwing this ball and everything. So if you haven't already, make sure you at least test out some urethane options because especially on those hard patterns, uh, it, it's such a crucial piece. And I use mine for my spare ball. Um, I don't Same. have to have a spare ball. I could throw any one of these. I like flattening out my hand, but since yeah. I already have it, um, I've gotten used to throwing it for, for a spare ball, but I can also throw it for a strike ball. And I think that's a pretty important note that if you yeah. are limited to a five or six ball arsenal, guys, really, it's it's very important to learn how to flatten that hand out so you can fit another piece for your strike ball. Yeah, I mean, if, if, if this was if this didn't wasn't your thing and this was plastic, we're missing out on this shape. A huge shape. And th there are so many tournaments nowadays where urethane is just in play. It's just, it's always looked at anymore, so. Yep. All right, guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the insight on our arsenal, and hopefully it'll help you build your own. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Check us out on Patreon, and check out InsideBowling.com where you can find our merch. Links will be in the description. Thanks for watching.